Hello, welcome here in Karlsruhe in our studio for the first edition of our Assembly News. I can't. So, here we are for the first edition of our Assembly News. Every day we shall meet you with a special product, our team. Uh, has prepared especially for you. Bienvenue ici à Karlsruhe pour ce moment quotidien de nouvelles que nous allons vous présenter. I'm glad to work with my colleague Anam. Hello, Anam. Hello. Can you greet our friends in German? Yeah, welcome uh, and uh, guten Tag. Also, das ist schon etwas. <laughs> so, we shall speak in English mostly, but we know that the, the people here are not only English speaking, but they speak of many other languages. You will be able to hear that. So we have four uh, products for news to uh, propose to you now. The first one you have made yourself. Anam, can you say a few words about it? Yeah, sure. So I actually, uh, there has been preparations going on in the city of Karlsruhe since a long time, before the assembly even started. So coming here, you can see lots of uh, assembly logos and flags all over the city. And uh, I would like to take all of you and give you a sneak peek into the preparations which were going on in the city of Karlsruhe. Okay, let's go. The city of Karlsruhe warmly welcome the delegates of the World Council of Churches 11th Assembly with assembly flags all over the city. The assembly venue is getting ready for the event in the coming days. The plethora of people from all over the world will be gracing the assembly venue, getting ready for their arrival. A special concert in the city center for the assembly participants will also take place in Karlsruhe. The concert is uh, it's a rounding program uh, of the uh, WCC, um, starting to be Bailey, and we play uh, every day at about 17 o'clock till 20, 2030, every day till the 7th of uh, September. In the coming days, this assembly worship tent will be a meeting place for the diverse and dynamic group to pray and worship together. This is Anam Gill reporting from the WCC Daily Show, and we will keep you up to date as the assembly unfolds. Thank you, Anam. A lot of work to prepare this assembly. Thank you. Thanks to all the people who have worked to be, to be able to, to be here together. Uh, a second, um, a second uh, news we have prepared for you, our team has prepared for you, is about the indigenous people. You know, a privilege here, uh, I'm sure you, sh you agree with me, is to meet many different people and among them indigenous people. Yes. It's amazing, it's very interesting, and they had these uh, friends a pre-assembly meeting and uh, one of our uh, colleagues has made an interview with her pastor, uh, Maria von Finland. Watch it. It's very important that we have indigenous peoples also here in the ecumenical movement because we need those voices to be here that are often silent. My name is Marie Valiaka and I'm a Sami pastor from Finland, from Finnish side of Sápmi. Uh, I work for the Evangelical Lutheran Church of Finland. If you don't have indigenous voices on, on, on those uh, decision-making processes that are really affecting our lives, it's, it's just wrong. And uh, when it comes to, for example, to a climate crisis, we are all facing it, but indigenous peoples worldwide they're facing it on the front line and uh, we share a long history of caretakers of the Mother Earth. So I think that indigenous peoples, they have wisdom to share and that wisdom is something that we really need to listen. We're talking about reconciliation and that's something that we talk about 
a lot in in Sami context also and in and also other indigenous peoples they're talking about reconciliation a lot maybe my expect expectation from this is that we could recognize that that it's not just restoring the broken relationship between human beings but also restoring the wholeness in creation and uh, I think that we really need to recognize that that Christ love is something that really is for all of us not for also for the marginalized groups well indigenous communities we usually have a storytelling culture so we like to share our stories and here I've been hearing a lot of very inspiring empowering stories but also stories about wounds and uh, those things I really want to take with me and I, I think that it's a privi privilege to be here and those stories are something that I should share also forward so that the bigger audience and also the local audience back home could hear those stories and have that solidarity also with us. So the indigenous people are among us with a very relevant uh, proposition. Let's see uh, another news. Mm -hmm. Anam, can you introduce? Yes, uh, so whenever we come to an event, we always come with a lot of expectations. And uh, considering that WCC 11th Assembly ha happens after every eight years, and it's like a, like a big, big, huge event. So uh, one of our colleagues, uh, Eugene, he just made a video regarding the expectations which the participants have regarding the 11th WCC Assembly. So we would like you to watch what, what he made for us. Maybe you, wish, you will find your expectation. The assembly is starting. People from different countries, different churches are here in Karlsruhe, Germany. And I expect to learn new things, new theological insights with other different uh, church leaders. And also I expect to learn different types of worships from other global church leaders. Thank you. The role of the church is very important. So in this particular uh, assembly, uh, I hope and I believe that WCC will be able to come up with some resolutions and some um, work to be done in the future in regards to um, issues that are of concern to people around the world. Thank you very much. Um, my expectations are that uh, we will gather here as we have already uh, in common in unity and will embody the theme of this assembly that the love of Christ moves things forward. My name is Renze Cetroson. Uh, come from Indonesia, uh, delegate Central Slovenian Christian Church. God bless. está totalmente dividido e nós como igrejas, especialmente igrejas cristãs que aqui se reúnem no conselho, nós queremos orar, estudar e somar forças para que o nosso testemunho faça a diferença em direção à paz com justiça. É importantíssimo que desde nossa própria eh, postura desde nuestra propia narrativa nos nutramos de otras narrativas y acá en esta asamblea de la número 11 del Consejo Mundial de Iglesias en Karlsruhe, Alemania, esto va a ser posible. So many countries, uh, many languages and many expectations. That is interesting. That is why it is interesting to be here with you. 
Last news, but not least, uh, maybe you know that here in Karlsruhe there was a, a pre-assembly of a special network called the Ecumenical Disabilities Advocates Network. They meet here for a few days, and uh, you will be able to see now an interview, a very touching interview, uh, to my opinion. Uh, pay attention to what is proposed with uh, Mary Chipoka Zenda. My name is Reverend Mary Chipoka. I am a pastor in the Formed Church in Zimbabwe. I work with children who are deaf at a special school. I go to different places, different congregations, preaching and advocating to people with disabilities, especially those who are deaf. Especially the youth who are deaf, I work with them. And a lot of people, when they see someone with a disability, they have pity for them. Should, what, what should, how should people respond to people with disabilities? Should, should we feel sorry for people who are disabled? In Zimbabwe, many people, when they see somebody who is deaf, they think this person is not clever. They, they, they don't see that person as somebody who can do something that is meaningful. They despise the person. Many people, when they, they see somebody who is deaf, when he's reading, they think, ah, the person who is deaf cannot go to school, cannot yeah, do yeah. anything. Yeah. They think this person yeah. cannot even be recognized in society. Even his or her future, he cannot produce something. Those people who are deaf, they are not important. That's what they yeah. think. Yeah. When they see people who are blind, the same. They think these people, they are not clever. That's the problem that we experience with the society. And so what do you tell people? How should people feel? I want to firstly thank what the WCC has done. This is an opportunity for awareness to show the world that people with disabilities, if you advocate for them, give them opportunities, they can do a lot of things. That's an awareness opportunity. Now people can be surprised and see, oh, people with disabilities, if they are included, they can be, they can be recognized and they can show a lot of wonderful things that they can do if they are included. What, what, how do you feel about Edan and what it's done? And is there things that it should be doing even better? I'm very happy. That's very good. It's my first time to attend the assembly, but I'm so excited. I have learned a lot. People with disabilities, networking, communicating, it's so wonderful. WCC has given an opportunity to people with disability to encourage them, to show the world that they are different gifts. We are differently able. I'm so happy about it. Um. What message, she's, she's come a long ways to be here in Germany. What message does she bring to all of the assembly, to everyone that's here? Firstly, I would like to thank the Lord for showing me and affording me this opportunity for an advocacy and awareness program that has been organized by the WCC. At least now people have acknowledged that people with disabilities, they can do something, they have gifts, they, and it's, it's also an opportunity for me to stand on behalf of people with disabilities.
Thank you. Let me react in my mother tongue. Magnifique, magnifique sujet que cette interview très touchant. Merci de l'avoir réalisé. I said in my mother tongue, thanks for this wonderful interview. Disability is perhaps fascinating ability for sure. So that was uh, for today, our news from the online editor team here. We see you tomorrow for a new edition. In between, you can follow all our product, streaming and so on, on our website. Have a good afternoon. See you soon. Take care. See you. Bye.